Hey, I'm Lalit Vasist and you're watching Engineering Made Easy. In this beautiful simulation of fluid dynamics, we will learn various concepts like what is equation of continuity. We will measure the speed and pressure of this fluid at various points. We will also vary the flow rate of this fluid and will add friction to it. We will see it without friction and by adding friction to this fluid okay we will also vary the fluid density and we'll see how it affects various parameters we will also learn here how the velocity of the fluid is affected when we change the cross-sectional area of this pipe so let's see all these concepts by this demonstration so we will start with the equation of continuity in fluid dynamics so what we mean by the equation of continuity it tells us that the product of area of cross section and the velocity is constant for a fluid to flow it means if we decrease the area then the velocity will be increased and if we increase the area then the velocity will be decreased you can understand it with the help of a, a simple practical example suppose we have a pipe that has water flowing out of it and if we press the pipe then the water will come out from the pipe at higher speed so we have reduced the area of cross section of the pipe then its velocity increased this is nothing but the equation of continuity it means area into velocity is constant it is nothing but simply the law of conservation of mass okay for a fluid to flow it must conserve its mass so let me show you how it happens look at this here i have a pipe okay and uh, fluid is flowing through it so let's understand it by changing the shape of this pipe i will reduce the area at some places while at other places i will increase its area you observe the velocity how it affects okay at this place let me increase this area and uh, at this place i am reducing the area okay i have reduced the area at this place okay now you can easily observe that at the place where the area is large the velocity is small velocity is less and at this place where the area of cross section is less the velocity is high we can also observe it with the help of this uh, speedometer you can measure the speed and the direction you see here here it is showing this arrow is showing the what is this this is a vector it is showing the direction is direction of arrow is showing the direction of the fluid and fluid particles and the magnitude is shown by its length so it's 0.5 meter per second at the place where the area is large let's move it towards smaller area you can observe it by its magnitude uh, that its value is 5 meter per second and the length of this vector blue vector showing its magnitude that it is much higher in comparison to at this place where it is 0.5 meter per second and here it is 6 meter per second 6.1 meters per second so this is the law of uh, continuity the equation of continuity in fluid dynamics which says that if i increase the area like this then its velocity will be reduced and if i reduce the area then its velocity will be increased so the product of area and velocity is always constant in this flow of fluid this is the law of mass conservation because the amount of mass that is entering from this end must come out at the other end okay so the mass is conserved if i have larger uh, area for the fluid to flow then it must flow at lower speed so that the law of conservation of mass is followed okay you can more clearly visualize this uh, equation of continuity by this thing that i am going to show you here i am uh, pressing this button and you see 
few dots. You observe its motion that they are moving at very small speed at this place and as it passes through this constricted area that is a small smaller area its motion is its velocity is increased. You observe here it is moving at low velocity very low velocity and as soon as it passes through it it moves at fast rate okay so this is nothing but the equation of continuity that is area into velocity is always constant okay now i will show you one more concept related to the pressure of the fluid according to bernoulli's theorem if there is a horizontal flow of a fluid through a pipe having varying cross-sectional area then according to this the pressure is reduced at the places where the speed or the velocity of the fluid is high so at the place where i have larger area that is the velocity is low its pressure should be high and at the places where the velocity is high the pressure should be low so let's measure it you see that uh, at this place we have a smaller velocity so the area so the pressure is 1 to 2.579 kilopascal okay pascal is the unit of pressure so you remember 1 to 2.5 okay and at this place as i move at this place it becomes 101 okay it has reduced because the velocity of the fluid is high at this place so as i'm moving towards the particles having a lower velocity the pressure is increasing 110 you see 117 118 120 121 122 and in this way 124 okay and as i move at this place the pressure reduces it proves bernoulli's theorem according to which Actually, Bernoulli's theorem will be discussed in another lecture uh, where I will dedicate the whole lecture for the Bernoulli's equation. We will learn how it affects the velocity pressure. It is actually the law of conservation of energy while the, uh, the, the equation of continuity that we have uh, just seen is the law of conservation of mass. So this was uh, mainly dedicated to the law of conservation of mass that is the that is the continuity equation in next video lecture i will show you what is the bernoulli's equation okay we will see it so i hope you liked the video and uh, we can also vary various parameters let me change various parameters and uh, uh, we will measure its speed and pressure at various points by varying the uh, area of the pipe let's change the friction okay i will show you the friction how it affects the motion of uh, the particles of uh, fluid when i add the friction okay let me first uh, reset it okay to the normal shape now i will add few dots you see the velocity of these dots okay they are moving very smoothly okay you see here now i will add a friction some friction to this now see friction has been added this is the shape of these dots you see it is resisting the motion of the free flow of these uh, particles of fluid without friction its motion was like this okay but when i add friction from this into this then its shape will be something like this observe the motion of these particles dots okay and uh, we can also change the flow rate from this okay we can increase the flow rate okay its velocity will be increased we can uh, add the flux meter to it flux meter is what it change it uh, shows the flow rate in liters per second okay uh, it it would be better to change the shape so that you can get better idea of it okay you see if i uh, observe it then you can say uh, you can see here that the area here is 0.8 meter meter square and the flow rate is 8749 liters per second flux is what flux is uh, uh, denoted as the flow rate divided by area you see 
liter per second divided by meter square so how much uh, fluid is flowing through this cross-sectional area per second so this is the flux you see that it is a 0.8 meter square at this place area is low at this place and its uh, uh, value is flow rate is 8749 liter per second so you observe the flux at this place here so here the area is uh, small so the flux is high it is 11103 liters per meter square second but as i will move at the place where the area is uh, high then it will be reduced because here it is nearly 11,000 and uh, here it is what you see here it is not 11,000 it is just 1,265 liter per meter square second because this area is in its denominator it is as the area is, has been increased so flux has reduced so I hope you got all these concepts of uh, continuity and uh, how it affects uh, the motion of the particles of fluid when we change the cross section and what is its effect on its velocity and on its pressure. So we also observed the motion of the particles in the presence and in the absence of friction. Okay. So hope you liked the video. For more such videos, please don't forget to subscribe my channel Engineering Made Easy. I will upload more such videos in future also. So keep watching, like and share the video if you found it useful and liked it. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.